First at midday, Atlanta fire crews are still investigating what led to a fire at the site that was once home to one of the most renowned LGBTQ bars. That's where we find 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates. And Bo Beth, set the scene. I know you've been talking to residents. What's been the reaction from people who live around this historic bar? Well, since we've been out here this morning, we've actually seen a lot of people coming in the area, taking pictures. A lot of people are just shocked. And in fact, the smell of smoke no, continues to linger in the air at the intersection here of Ponce de Leon and Argonne Avenue as that historic site went up in flames. It was really sad to see it up in flames. For 35 years, Richard Ramey, the owner of the Atlanta Eagle Bar, called this historic site home. But late Thursday, the building built back in 1898 went up in flames. You know, it was the first historical land, you know, site for our gay community. So that really, it really hurts deep to see, to see all the damage that's happened. And take a look at video witnesses gave us, showing smoke and flames shooting in the air out of the building, which is now abandoned. You could feel the heat all the way from over there. And that was like, I don't know, 100, 200 feet away. And it was quite a blaze. It was quite a lot of heat. Also, this is the neighborhood. You know, I was concerned that my house was going to start on fire, possibly. You never know what embers are going to drift over. Luckily, fire crews were able to keep the blaze from spreading to any neighboring properties, including the historic Kodak building that sits right next door. But now many worry what will become of the old Atlanta Eagle. It's just got so much history, starting with RuPaul back when it was a celebrity room and, um, and all of our history through the 35 years that we were here. And, you know, and, um, and that's what makes this um, building so special. In 2020, former mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms designated the location a historic landmark, citing its significance to the LGBTQ community. The Atlanta Eagles Bar is also the site of a controversial 2009 police raid that resulted in a lawsuit and 16 officers being found guilty of lying and destroying evidence. Six officers were also fired. The incident led to training and policy changes. And while the investigation into the blaze continues, those who live close by the site continue to reminisce. It's an emotional time when you any any type of scene like this, you know, and, and people that has any connection to something fires are really devastating. Now officials say this investigation is still ongoing, but they say there have been other fires in the area caused by vagrants. Now they're not sure if this was one of those incidents, but they say they're luckily none of the historic buildings in the area or other sites were damaged with this fire. Live in Atlanta, Bo Beth Yates, 11 Alive News. Thank you.